Good evening guys. I hope everyone's all right and uh, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for subscribing. Something that um, obviously a lot of river anglers do and um, I thought I'd just show you is I'm going to the Trent tomorrow. I am and I'm going to be concentrating more on like silverfish roach and things like that practice for the feeder national so i thought what i'd do is i'd just show you how i prepare my crushed hemp um because a few people have asked me did i just put it in from the bag did i just um you know put it in what i do this is what i do and i know a lot of lads do the same right is i've measured if i show you look I've measured a little pint tub out of crushed hemp. Put that into a little bit bigger tub. And now I've got some boiling water. There's a pint of water there. Now what I'm gonna do, look, is just pop that into there. Right. And what I would norm what I would normally do now is I would put that in my bait fridge in the gar garage. I would just pop that. Just goes the grass. I know it needs cutting. <laughs> right. And what I would do is just let that soak up all the water during the night, and then that's ready to add in to my ground bait when I mix it. Uh, the ground bait I'll be using with that is the um, Revolution River non-fish non -fish meal ground bait that I'll be using with that tomorrow. Um, James from Revolution Baits was kind enough to send me some to um, sample and give him give him feed back on. So um, what I'll be doing is I'll show you how it mixes up on the bank and that as well. And I, I like to add a lot of crush them when I'm um, fishing the trend. So. Uh, I'll show you. I'll leave that an hour and see how that soaks up, and then um, if it soaks up a lot within two or three hours, to a couple of hours, I'll just show you then. But if not, I'll show you it in the morning, and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like. It's completely different once it's soaked up all the water. All right then, guys. I'll either see you later, or I'll see you on the. Um, banks of the Trent in the morning. Okay, bye for now. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to enjoy your fishing. Um, it's the morning after I showed you how to do the crushed hemp and if you can see that look, you can see how it's gone. You can see all the white white kernels and everything in that. I'm just going to mix my ground bait. Right. James from uh, Revolution Bait Baits has uh, been giving me given me a couple of river ground baits they're both the same apart from one has fish meal in and one doesn't right I've got um, this one. box them in there and what I'm going to do is just A little 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of that in there. Mix that fully. Right. Now then, there you go. Look, you see. You can see how all them. I mean, it has hemp in it anyway, this ground bait, but you can see how all them hemp particles look. I've gone in that. That's right, I'm going down the non fish meal ground bait today. And, but if I just show you, right, I'll get set up and uh, I'll join you. Later on the bank when I'm set up. All right, then, guys. Welcome back, guys. I'm set up. I've only set up two rods today. I've only got a little bait, one bit of bait with me. I just want to see how we get on. Bit of practice for the. Um, Feed the national so site ground bait feeder up, which is free running. It is. I've also set a maggot feeder up for over, which is also free running. I ain't got a great deal of bait with me. Um, I'll just show you quick. Oh. I've just got some casters, old casters as well. Uh, dead maggots, floating maggots, maggot pinkies, and there's my ground bait. There we go. Anyway, show you how I. Mix me ground bait. Hmm. What I'm going to do is just I'm going to start a single red maggot. I'm on a 16 hook. Seen all that crushed hemp I've put in as well. Gonna get me out on. There we go, Lord.
Chris from the squad has managed to land a pike. Look, there we go. <laughs> and he's back safely. Oh, he's not. <laughs> has he still got it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your landing net come off? Yeah, I've got it. Do you want me to get mine quick? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look. There we go, guys. Lovely pike. You what, mate? He was never going to let go of that, was he? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable, isn't it? Here we go, mate. You are nobody, but what a lovely fish. I know they're a pain when you're catching roach, but. but lovely fish, aren't they? you got to turn around. Give us a smile, Chris. What's <laughs> <laughs> it? Seven pound, eight pound? Yeah, it must be. Pike he's got. Not by choice. Not yeah, not by choice. Like <laughs> it took, took a roach that we're bringing in. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Get some nice dumpy roach. Yeah. You what, mate? Yeah. Only leaving it in a couple of minutes.
bonus. As you can tell, with me wet towel around my shoulders, it's hot. Right, I get back to you in a bit. Guys. Here we go, guys. Lovely pike, look. Let's pop him back. <clears throat> Go on. Go on. <laughs> Bit of excitement. Yeah. I don't, it's not took a... F it, it, he hasn't took a fish, he hasn't. He's, he took two maggots. Is he? Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> two part you've had then today. Yeah. Except up there, catching little tuglers. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, I mean, I've got some. What's he on the float? Yeah. We'll wait until you. Lovely. There we go, there's Chris's catch. Hasn't, eh? Lovely nut of roach and a few perch. Hey, I'll make a few below. Turn around and if you lay them on your net and just look up and smi smile, I'll, I can send the photo to you. I can take it off this, you see. Yeah. Well done, mate. Thank you. Yeah, but this place, it is roach, and all the float anglers fish it, you see. This bit is. Alright. Float anglers Okay. Would you do us a favour? Would you just see if. Can you see me and the fish in that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, though. There we go, guys. Me and Chris, we've had a lovely. What was this, four and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah, we had a lovely four and a half hours, look. Yeah. I'd say it's about six or seven pounds there. And perch weigh, don't they? Yeah. Oh, I've got quite a few perch. Well guys, that's been a really good practice. Must have been about 30 degrees again today. All right. Me and Chris have had similar weights. We have. Uh, both doing things slightly different again, like me and Martin did for a bit of a practice session. Um, I've had, um, I would say probably seven seven and a half pound right but obviously i've been trying things if, if i'd have fished how i think i'm gonna fish i think i'd have had 10 pound today but um i just wanted to try a few things and so did chris he's had a similar weight to what i have so uh, 
that's been a brilliant practice day for the feeder national and um, anyway thanks for watching thanks for subscribing after the feeder national uh, i will come and i'll uh, show you exactly what i've been doing all right but obviously we are be a team event and um we we've got to keep things under our hat a little bit what's working for us so hope you understand that but obviously that's team fishing and anyway as i said thanks for watching take care of yourselves guys be safe and as always enjoy your fishing bye